Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of My Life Lemons. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it guys. Um, but first, I would like to apologize for my nails. I haven't had time to do them yet. Um, and I really, really needed to record this video because I am going to be busy for the next week. And um, yeah, I won't be able to record any videos. So let's do this right now. Okay. So the scent that I will be reviewing for you is Vanilla Bean Oil. So it has a clear lid, silver nozzle, and this very partyish, um, glittery design right here. I really do like this. Um, some people don't, but for me, this is, I like it. I like it a lot. You get this some, um, sort of like a ombre silver to that very dark emerald green and I really like this dark metallic green as well and then yeah you have the scent notes at the back okay I don't feel a lot of texture I mean there is a bit of texture on the writing but yeah that's it okay so let's go on ahead and read the scent notes at the back um, it has fresh vanilla bean sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. And the scent code is make this the most wonderful time of the year with cozy, comforting vanilla. Okay, so let's talk about Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, some people call this Vanilla Bean No Scent. Um, I heard of Bonnie from Queen of the Girl Geeks saying that so okay so vanilla be no well when i first apply this on my skin i get that very strong alcohol scent it's very strong and then i get this i don't know maybe it's just with my body chemistry i get this musky nasty scent I don't know how to explain it guys I really don't but but to me it smells nasty like yeah I don't know how to describe it it's not even like a chemical scent it's just yeah it's a horrid scent for me I really didn't like it I thought I was gonna throw this out that maybe I got a bad um, bottle but that nasty scent yeah it's pretty strong in the first minute and then it sort of it sort of like dies down in the second minute but yeah it does go away thankfully it it went away and then after that that nasty scent this scent it dries down into this soft semi-sweet vanilla scent um it's pretty cozy too okay so let's do a little breakdown of the scent notes okay. so did i get that fresh vanilla bean scent i am not sure i did get a vanilla scent the sugar cookies yes i do get a bit of that cookie scent as well um warm caramel um Maybe it's in there, but it's not um, very distinguishable to me. It's not very distinctive. Whipped cream, I'm sorry, no whipped cream for me. And snow-kissed musk. I don't know what snow-kissed musk smells like. Um, yeah, I did get a musky scent, but I don't know if it's snow kissed, but yeah, I did get the musk scent as well. Okay, so basically I did get that vanilla scent. It's pretty soft. It's light. It does, um, the cookie scent, it's, it's not like it's a consistent cookie scent to me. Because sometimes I just get vanilla scent and sometimes I get um, that cookie note vibes as well. It's not... It's not consistent what's consistent to me is just that vanilla scent um, 
the vanilla scent that I got here is pretty much uh, very similar to what I get um, from strawberry pancake but the vanilla scent in strawberry pancake is more cakey and more bakery but this um, yeah it's less cake I mean it's just the vanilla scent the normal vanilla I don't know maybe since this is the first time I'm using this scent maybe that is the normal vanilla scent that um, Bath and Body Works has okay okay um, that musky scent though sometimes it's pretty prominent um, honestly this scent to me I do like this scent but I don't love it because like I said um, I do get that sweet um, semi-sweet soft vanilla scent but yeah um it's not consistent it's pretty soft and it's pretty light but it does kind of give me that cozy soft light vanilla scent and it's not bad i actually kind of like it um yeah except for that um nasty smell that i get initially okay but on my clothes i don't get that nasty scent it might be just with my body chemistry that i got that nasty scent but on my clothes i didn't get that i mean i still get that musky scent along with the vanilla and um that cookie scent yeah i get that on my clothes and on my clothes this lasted pretty well but um, it's pretty much the same it's soft it's cozy it's light this scent is not a strong scent okay on my on my skin though this lasts about two to three hours but you have to put like a generous amount on your skin because I had to okay on the first day I just put like the regular five sprays on one arm and it was pretty light I wasn't um, what do you call this I wasn't satisfied so on the second day I put like around eight sprays um, with that this lasted on my skin for about two hours on the third hour it's pretty much um, sort of like a skin scent but that skin scent lasts up until the sixth hour so um, it would depend on I think on how much you spray but yeah this to me it lasted two solid hours and by the third skin scent but it lasted up to the sixth hour okay vanilla be no well overall to me this is it's an okay scent it's not the greatest for me i like it it's it's soft cozy um it's a pretty light gourmand scent um if you like something not too sweet and not too yeah this definitely is not a strong scent um but yeah it's it's okay um to me this is not like a what do you call that like um a must-have yes. okay so the only reason that i got this scent is because if i wanted to review other gourmand scents from um bath and body works i think i should at least get this you know because it's one of the og scents from bath and body works i mean how would I be able to like compare with other scents if I don't even have vanilla bean oil. Well. <laughs> I mean that's just me that's just my thinking so um, yeah um, to me this is going to be 
one and done. I will not be repurchasing this scent just because I feel like um, I should now really venture out to other gourmand scents from Bath & Body Works. Okay? So, um, yeah, this is a gender neutral scent. I, anyone can wear this scent as long as you like gourmand scents. Um, again, this is soft. It's semi-sweet, um, cozy uh, type of gourmand scent. So again, Vanilla Be Noel. I really, really do like this scent. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention that this projects pretty nicely. It does project, but it's it's soft. Okay, it's soft and light. I sometimes smell. Um, yeah, I sometimes smell cookies, like especially on my clothes, sometimes I get cookies, sometimes I just get the vanilla. And it's it's pretty surprising, like sometimes um, I'll be walking and I would smell like a cookie scent. And I don't know, it, this scent surprises me sometimes, like, oh my god, I smell like cookies. And then... <laughs> And other times I would smell like just the vanilla scent. So yeah, so even if it's not really that consistent, I still do like this scent, okay? Okay, so that is it for my review of Vanilla Be Noel. If you like this review, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, scent suggestions, or any comments at all, please write them down below. I will be happy to check them out. And Please do subscribe for more future Bath & Body Works um, Miss Reviews in the future. And everybody, please take care and be safe wherever you are, okay? And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys.